Hey everyone, so I'm back again for another video. This time around I'm going to show you guys my updated Nintendo DS collection. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, hardware first, then my loose and incomplete games, um, then a couple of sort of big box games, uh, and then everything else, um, all the complete games pretty much, and I'll finish off with a couple of uh, Japanese and European uh, DS games that I have as well. So let's start off with the hardware. Um, I also have a uh, Hot Rod Red uh, original DS, but my sister has that, so uh, I can't really show you guys that right now, but it was bundled together with Mario Kart DS. Uh, then the next one that I got uh, myself was the Red Nintendo DS Lite, uh, and I've had this since it came out. Uh, next up is a uh, cobalt blue. Um, sorry, so this one here is crimson, and then this one here is cobalt blue. I just picked this up um, a few months ago. And then, lastly, here for hardware is a sort of busted up um, blue uh, DSi. I don't really use this that much. In fact, I pay just five dollars for it. Um, it works fine, except for the fact that the uh, trigger buttons on the top there um, don't seem to work and I could just take it apart but I just never got around to it um, so then next getting into loose games I have uh, High School Musical making the cut uh, these loose ones aren't anything special most of them I just got um, because they were packaged together with other games that I did want um, next is Horses Gourmet Chef, Kirby Superstar Ultra, should probably take that out, yeah, Kirby Superstar Ultra, uh, Spectrobes, uh, Touch of the Dead, sorry, and, um, sorry about that, and uh, EA Playground. Next up, I have two games that are incomplete, and it kind of bothers me that these two are incomplete, but it's fine, at least I have the games in the cases. Um, first up is Chibi Robo Park Patrol, uh, and next is Lunar Dragon Song. But both of these games um, are still fairly cheap to find, so who knows, maybe if I, if I find... Um, complete versions of them for under under three bucks I'll just buy those and switch out the games um, next up are uh, large box games uh, first I have here dealer no deal special edition bundle I got this from EB games for like 99 cents and that was pretty much the only reason I actually decided to buy this if it was gonna be any more than a dollar I would have just left it there um, Next, also for about a dollar, I think, actually this one was closer to two dollars, I got Band Hero uh, in the box there with the accessory, but I don't really play the game, so it was kind of a waste. Um, also, for uh, about two dollars, I got Personal Trainer Walking, and mostly I like buying um, accessories and stuff like that to video games, so whenever there are these bundles here and they're cheap enough, I tend to buy them. Next, two of the more um, expensive uh, games in my collection, my DS collection that is, is Heart Gold and Soul Silver in the cardboard boxes with the Pokewalker accessories. I bought these the very first day they came out because I buy all Pokemon games right when they come out. And uh, yep, I'm happy to have these in my collection and I've beat both uh, versions, uh, but I have not played them in years. And then the last of these sort of uh, um, boxed games is Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey. This one I picked it up most recently. Um, actually, I think I got this like last month. And uh, yeah, I haven't gotten around to playing it yet. Mostly I got it because it was cheap enough and it came with a music CD as well. Uh, if it did not have the music CD, I would have just left it there. And then uh, I'm going to go right into my 
main chunk of my collection, and that is my complete in box games, and everything's going to be in alphabetical order, um, more or less. So, starting out here, I have Advanced Wars Dual Strike, the American Dragon Jake Long Attack of the Dark Dragon, uh, AMF Bowling Pinbusters. I have not actually ever played this game. Um, you should know that the majority of the DS games in my collection, other than the Pokemon games, um, I did not buy them when they were brand new. And while a couple of them I have paid between $13 to $20 for them, the majority of the games that I, I have I got for $10 or less or even $5 or less. Um, next up is Animal uh, Animal Crossing Wild World. Uh, then the most recent game that I've picked up, and it's actually pretty interesting, it's called Avalon Code, and it's an RPG. And basically the world is ending, uh, and what your character does is logs different things in this weird magical book. Um, but again, I'm only at the beginning of that game, so there's probably a lot more to it. Uh, Bleach Dark Souls and Bleach the Third Phantom. Uh, this game is a fun fighting game. This game is a sort of uh, turn-based tactical RPG that just kills. It, it, it's a really hard game. Um, I'll try to speed this up because I have about 100 games in total to show you and I'm already at this almost 7 minute mark. So I'll just try to speed on through this. Uh, next is Chrono Trigger, because the original version is really expensive. Contact, another Atlas RPG. Pretty interesting, uh, along the same lines as, um, like, the same style as um, the Mother or Earthbound games. Uh, Coring in the House, nothing special there. Draglade, um, surprisingly disappointing. Dragon Quest Nine Sentinels of the Skies, and Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime, and I'm still looking to get the, I believe, the second one in the Rocket Slime uh, series, and then there's also the uh, Dragon Quest um, Dragon Quest Heroes Joker or something. Uh, anyways, uh, Drawn to Life uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Edition. Uh, next up is. Another stack here. Elements of Destruction is actually kind of interesting. It's sort of like the uh, part of the Sims, uh, Sim City when natural disasters and stuff like that occur, and you're pretty much controlling that. <laughs> Exit DS, um, pretty fun, but I prefer a game like. Uh, where is it here? Uh, Shifting Worlds for the 3DS. Uh, it's a pretty uh, similar kind of game, except for in this one you have to actually rescue different people that are also stuck in um, the different levels. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Echoes of Time. I have not played this yet. I just got this uh, recently, so yeah, I haven't really had the time to get to that. Uh, Fossil Fighters Champions. Again... I got it last month. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, From the Abyss, uh, it's pretty much just a standard uh, sort of action RPG. Um, at least that's what I see it as. Um, Geometry Wars Galaxies and Geometry Wars games are pretty simple and fun to play. And they're available on nearly every console. Uh, Guinness World Records, the video game, pretty terrible. Paid, I think, like 50 cents for this. Uh, Jake Hunter, have not played this yet. And uh, Justice League Heroes, Heroes also have not played this yet. Kirby's Canvas Curse and Kirby Mass Attack. Uh, I also have uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra but obviously not in the case for that. And uh, of the three of them, I have to say that I did like Superstar Ultra the best, just because um, the the controls in these games are a little weird. 
uh, Lego Star Wars 2, the original uh, trilogy. Um, I got this game for like 10 bucks years ago. Uh, finished it relatively fast and never went back to it. Life Science Surgical Unit. Um, have not played this yet. <laughs> Luminous Arc. Uh, just picked this up last month. Have not played it yet. And Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Uh, I got stuck on this for a while. Uh, right after you visit the doctor. Um, but the doctor's like the psychic person. And then you fight Bowser. I had gotten stuck at that point for a while. And I only just recently got past that point. Next stack here. And sorry about the length of the video, but if you're interested to see everything, just please bear with me. Uh, next up, Mario Kart DS. Uh, I have had this game since I got my first DS, and I beat everything in this game. Uh, finished it to hell. There was nothing else possibly left for me to do in this game. And since then, it's been several years, and I've not gone back to it. Uh, Mario Party DS. Recently picked this up. I've played other uh, Mario Party games. Um, the one I play the most is Mario Party 4, but I have not gotten to this one yet, and neither have I played the um, Mario Party Advanced uh, Tour game. I think that's what it was called, but I own both of them. Uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem. I actually like um, sort of uh, building up the paths of the level. Um, to get the uh, little Mario minis uh, to the end where they need to be. Uh, I have not finished this game yet, uh, but I have played a good chunk of it. I think I just stopped playing it because I got stuck on one level for a really long time. Um, Master of the Monster Lair. Uh, have not played this yet, but it seems that you design uh, your own dungeons in this game. Mega Man Star Force 2 Zerker X Ninja or Zerker Cross Ninja. Uh, I sadly have not played this yet either. Um, the Mega Man game that I played the most is Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo and um, Mega Man for the Game Boy, the original Game Boy. Um, MX vs. ATV Untamed. Nothing special there. Nano Stray 2, um, a pretty awesome uh, side scrolling. Uh, shooter, shoot 'em up, uh, where you play the spaceship. It's it's a pretty basic game, but it's pretty fun. Naruto Ninja Destiny uh, and Naruto Path of the Ninja Two. Um, this one's a fighting game. Uh, this one is more of a brawler, I believe. Uh, but I have not played this one here yet. Uh, Neopets Puzzle Adventure, I played this on the Wii, it's a very disappointing puzzle game, that's all I can say about it. Uh, New Super Mario Bros, I actually got this game when it came out, and um, I 100%ed this game, and my score is ridiculous, and I do not think I will ever go back to that. Uh, Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots, have not played this yet, but it looks uh, just like it's a brawler slash platformer. Um, nostalgia, uh, another RPG that I have not had the time for yet. It's really hard to to get into an RPG, uh, especially if you know you just don't have the time for it. And right now I'm playing Conception 2. I've actually only just started playing that game, but uh, I've been trying to focus on playing Conception 2 at this moment. Um, Pipe Mania, uh, just a puzzle game where you have pipes and, you know, uh, you take a liquid from one point to another point and you have to make sure that it doesn't spill out. Uh, next up are a stack of Pokemon games, all of which I've played way too long, uh, way too much, and I have not gone back to for a while. Uh, first is Pokemon Diamond, played this for over 500 hours, has a near complete Pokedex on that. Uh, Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Black, Pokemon White, 
Pokemon Black 2, Pokemon White 2, um, White and White 2 I actually haven't played yet, just because those were the last two that I uh, picked up for the main Pokemon series. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, I did not actually end up finishing this game, even though I, I bought this when it was brand new, I have not finished it. Uh, Pokemon Ranger, also have not finished this. Um, with these games, I feel like I got stuck at a certain point where I was repeating myself so often that I sort of just put them off to the side and never got back to them. Uh, Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Valmia, have not actually started playing this one yet. I thought I'd finish the other Pokemon Rangers game. Uh, and also pick up the third one before I got to that one. Uh, Pray the Stars. I got this for like a dollar. Have not played it yet. Prince of Persia, the Fallen King. Have not played this yet, but I don't know. The last few Prince of Persia games I've played have been kind of disappointed by them. Uh, Professor Layden and the Diabolical Box. Um, I love puzzle games and stuff like that, um, and this one here, I think I am about 50% um, complete. I think out of the 150 uh, puzzles, um, I have about 80 of them done, so I still have a good chunk of the game um, to go through. Uh, just about two more stacks of games to get through here. Um, puzzle Day Harvest Moon. I've not played that yet. Quick Spot, um, it's a collection of mini games, but I have not actually played this in a while. I played this when I got it for about a month, and then I moved on to another game. Uh, Red Bull BC1. I actually have no idea what this is, but it also looks like it is a collection of mini games. Uh, Rhythm Heaven. Retro Atari, it's a retro Atari collection game. Robocalypse. Scribble Knots. It's on a whole bunch of different systems and uh, even on iOS. Uh, Devil Survivor 2, picked this up last month, have not played it yet. Uh, Spectrobes Beyond the Portals. Um, I have not gotten around to this yet, but it was only like $2, so I thought I'd. Grab it and get to it eventually. Sonic Rush. I like Sega. I like Sonic games. I had to pick this up. Spider-Man uh, Spider Web of Shadows. I have not actually played this yet. Um, I think I got this from EB for like $1.99. Star Fox Command. Uh, Steel Princess. Um, also picked this up last month. I uh, have not gotten around to it yet, but it seems pretty interesting, and the main reason why I picked this up is because I had um, I had found a really cheap copy of Nino Kuni, I traded that in, and I got Steel Princess and um, Fossil Fighters Championship, uh, and it was just a really good deal, I went, <laughs> I went right for the most valuable games that they had there. Um, and then the last one in this stack is The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I have to say, uh, the uh, Wind Waker series of games, so Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks, I have not really been um, the biggest fan of them. At least the first two I mentioned, Spirit Tracks, I do not own it, uh, but I think I should give it a chance at least. And then we're down to the last stack of games here. Uh, Teresa, uh, The World Ends With You, I've been told that this is a very good game, so I went ahead and picked that up, but I, again, have not had the time to play that yet. Uh, Tony Hawk's American Skateland, Touch Mechanic, uh, Trackmania DS, um, the interesting thing about this one here was that you're able to make your own tracks and, uh, race against other people on them, and... I don't know, I like I like racing games. Uh, Treasure World, uh, I have not played this yet, but it seems that you just go around and you collect treasure. Uh, WarioWare DIY, and WarioWare uh, games are collections of mini-games, but in this one here you can model your own um, 
model and design your own uh, mini games. Uh, where is Waldo the Fantastic Journey? Shell and Showdown. I actually loved this TV show about a decade ago when it was airing on TV. Uh, Zendoku. I don't know. It it's a Sudoku, um, but there's some kind of action involved. Uh, Zensa's Rainforest. I really have no idea why I picked this up. Uh, but I know definitely when it comes to games like this, um, if they're $2 or less and I don't have them, I just buy them and add them to my collection. And the last one here is Zubo. And it's sort of, it's sort of like Pokemon. Um, and you collect all these different, uh, characters here. Um, but there's no sort of variety to it or, um... I should say there, there's no real uh, choice in which uh, characters you uh, get because it's a linear story and you pretty much have to, um, you come along different characters at different points in the story and you have to help them. Um, but yeah, and then they end up helping you out by, I guess, being owned by you afterwards. Um, I mean, if it's cheap enough and you have the time to spend on it, go for it. Otherwise, just... Just leave it. Um, I also have four sealed games. Um, Jagged Alliance. Uh, Corrupto... Uh, uh, sorry, Corrupto Cool Cool Stars. And actually, I, I only paid like $7 for that one. Uh, Pokemon, white version again. Uh, but this one's sealed. And Spectral Force Genesis. And same deal on this one. As was uh, Corrupto, it was about seven dollars. Uh, and then the last thing here I wanted to show you was uh, my stack of uh, import games. I only have one Japanese DS game, and that is, I believe, Naruto Ninja Council uh, Four. Uh, but it might be wrong because I can't tell what that is in exactly. Um, next are a stack of PAL releases: Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Um, I know I have um, some of these games uh, for uh, North American release as well, but I found them cheap enough, and I, I'm a Pokemon collector too, so I had to buy these. Um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time. This one I did not have. And um, Pokemon Ranger. And then the very, very last thing I wanted to show you guys here was um, my most... Uh, interesting uh, DS game. Uh, it is also a PAL game and it is completed in box and I have had some fun with this because I do like typing games and it is Learn with Pokemon Typing Adventure. Um, it was released in uh, Japan first then I believe the UK and then Australia got it but it has not been released in North America yet and it's kinda sad but pretty much um, Pokemon are walking towards you uh, and uh, every so often you have to uh, type the name of the Pokemon and you, I believe you sort of like catch them um, and at other points you have to just type specific letters and the better that you type, um, the m better chance you have of reaching the level, the end of the level fast enough that you can then fight the uh, boss of that level uh, and it's usually either a really strong Pokemon or a really rare Pokemon. And, yep, it's a really fun game. And it has, uh, it says, research over 400 Pokemon in locations such as desert forests, mountains, beaches, and many more. And inside here you get the keyboard, uh, the stand, and uh, the game itself. Uh, anyways, that is my complete uh, DS collection. It is over a hundred games, a um, hundred North American DS games, um, about five uh, uh, five uh, uh, foreign games. Uh, actually, that's five PAL games and one uh, Japanese game, and uh, three systems as well. Um, if you kept watching this video all the way till the end, thank you very much uh, for taking a look at my collection. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. 
Uh, also, check out all my different social media links. Uh, they're all in the description uh, below. Also, if you have the time, check out my website. Um, as always, um, that's it. See ya.